I think it's a strong foundation of scoring and defense. check in for Davis Barnes comes in for Chris Douglas Roberts and JJ Redick is subbed in for Jamal Crawford just four to shoot and Redick kicks to Paul the second chance effort and Griffin the with the Griffin, I didn't think he was gonna make Griffin's got the lead up to two now for the Clippers you see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket. Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. It's Harden with the drive. And Howard with the stuff. You suck up. We're going to throw on that end. Double, oh, double down. Game. Oh, ten points game. and ten rebounds. Barnes kicks to Reddick. Griffin sets the screen for Paul. He dishes it to Griffin. And the dunk to finish Yo, don't like those. They keep making them slip off. I'm, now, I'm right there. That was an incredible reverse throwdown right there. Tremendous body control. I didn't go as far as say, Clark, that was a punctuation dunk. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I too close, that. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Practice, what you, Practice what you preach. Practice what you preach, Biggie. <laughs> Practice right, what you preach. You go over that close, I'm going to the hole. Terrence Jones was part of the 2012 championship team at Kentucky with Anthony Davis in year two with the Rockets, stepping into the starting role at power forward. And Jones able to play on the perimeter a bit to create space for Dwight Howard inside. A former point guard in his younger days, he's a good ball handler, but his passing and shooting still a work in progress. Houston making a switch here. Adrian's checked in. Everly with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. There's a screen. Harden outside. Reeves it is just to Harden. Shoots from the elbow. Shots good. Harden's got 13. And Terrence Jones listed at 6'9 with a 7'2 arm span. Those numbers tell you he plays big. He really does. He's strong on both backboards. He brings some shot blocking presence. He's still them. really young and starting to put it all together. But I love his potential. And I like the progress he's shown to this point. <laughs> and there's the call on Matt Barnes. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's foul number two on him. They might not warrant sitting him entirely, but uh, another one before halftime, they could they could be in some trouble. Cannon, he's checked in for Patrick Beverly. It's Harden with the drive. Paul passes to Reddit. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Harden has a wide open look. Again, the miss by Harden. Off his foot, and the ref saying he kicked it. Jason Terry, he's checked in for Cannon. They set the screen, and the officials will call the. I'll wait to the pick was. I'll wait to the pick was set. How's that a move? Got to make sure your feet are set. I agree with you, and I thought maybe he was set that time, Steve. I thought it was a good screen on his part. Chris Douglas Robbins checked in for the Clippers. We stopped your initial drive, and we stopped your pass. Well, you got to like his shot selection Garbage. today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. And Douglas Roberts is going to pick up the foul. This nigga's is going to cave in. That is his first foul of the game. 14 foul. Here's Harden on the win. Covered by Douglas Roberts. Takes the three. 
Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. Harden can't Are they hit. going to take that, bro? That's and wild. he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Right there. Yeah, nice fast break from start to finish, guys. Especially on the back end. I mean, he polished it off perfectly. Jerry gets to a reason. Yeah, okay, what'd you say? You wouldn't do when he ain't looking. You just do the ball down there. Terrible. Six to shoot. Dishes it to Adrian. Griffin with the steal. Now Douglas Roberts. Whatever you say, Velveeta. Baseline jumper. The shot is Whatever off. Whatever you say, Velveeta. And Houston the other way. You know, not only is the game neck and neck and tight, but the rebounding battle is too. Extremely close on the boards. Yeah, both teams have really put in a terrific effort down low. Griffin is green on Terry. Griffin draws the double. Out to the right wing. Oh, what I'm saying is, clock. this dude wasn't even looking. He just puts up the baby hook. And there's two points. The dude wasn't even looking. The like the dude time. caught the ball. He hit the button. Griffin's it's a, it's got two animation. The, the ball goes down the court. He didn't even look to see what the dude was. Kicks it to hard. Why would I make it up? Here's the screen. Pass to Adrian. Trying to get back on track. I mean, it don't and matter. You ain't going to win anyway. Clippers leading by four. One fifty-one left here in the second. Riven sets the screen for Paul. Shot clock at six. Riven dishes to Jordan. Reddick inside the line. Tries yet again. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Blake Griffin doing all sorts of things. Eight rebounds and two rejections. He's been an intimidator down low. Even if a shot gets over him, he's That's pulling not what down I'm the saying. board. Yeah, he's pretty much controlled the area around but the rim, take it away, you dominating want to take this game it. defensively. That free throw missing. Well, Griffin, a former dunk contest champion, but make no mistake, Blake is a game dunker, always among the league leaders. And at his size, with that strength, the way he gets off the floor is just unbelievable. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Dwight Howard. Whatever you say, Biggie, we we'll play like that. We can play and like it's that. it's Patrick Beverly in for Jason Terry. You know, Blake Griffin gets up so high, he's created some debate in fact uh, on the definition of a dunk so i'll ask does your hand have to touch the rim you know i think you don't you don't necessarily have to have your hand touch the rim kevin but you do have to throw it through the goal none of this some um, raggedy type dunk stuff got to control it you got to yeah i like the that's the word through. i was looking for two shots all right well I'll look at how the points on, have white. been generated so far scoring breakdown for the clippers well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. And another thing they've been doing right is converting a lot of second-chance opportunities. I love the hustle and the effort. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. It's Harden with the drive. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. New Texas. Going on, man. Here's Beverly. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Shot clock at three. Harden, no good. I think he's got to find another way to contribute, Kevin, besides looking to shoot the ball. I mean, he just can't Miss get anything right there. to bounce his way this quarter. So he's got to do other things. He's tried to get it going, but the shots just have not dropped for him today. Who are you? You ain't nobody special. Reza passes to Harden. He kicks it to Howard. The shot no good. Here's Douglas Roberts. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. I'm out of control, but I had uh, two JJ here and a good one. Come on, man. Stop Clippers playing. lead.
by four. We'll get right back to the action. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. You look at Blake Griffin in this game. He's been everywhere. It seemed like he made everything he got. I mean, anytime he had an open look, he took advantage of the opportunity there in that first half. And Steve, they were all good looks. I mean, his shot selection has been terrific throughout the game. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Jock River. He will. CP3 at point. We will. Reddick there the back. No, about to tell me. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. We ain't never trained this park. The three spot. Griffin sets the screen for Paul. The 19-foot shot. Excellent D from Howard. And Beverly kicks to Harden. And that one's good. Harden's got 15. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket. Right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen much of at the other end of the floor, though. Here's Reddick. Pulls up on the elbow. Jordan. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. He's got six. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, each side having a tough time staying in front. Well, the fans love it. I mean, a, a tug of war, a back and forth affair. But if you're a coach, yeah, there's a little frustration here. You're trying to pull ahead, but evenly matched game. Now a timeout called by Houston. Well, Doc Rivers coached Ray Allen for years in Boston. He knows how to utilize a knockdown shooter like J.J. Reddick. <sighs> oh, my God. Here we go. There we go. Ain't, gonna, ain't nobody gonna be able to get a word in them. Rockets trail by four. Mm -hmm. And Reddick is absolutely remarkable coming off screens. A triple threat. Uh, he can square Love up and that. knock it down quickly, but he also has become a creative ball oh, handler yeah. who can drive a little bit now and create for others. Clock at four. Oh, Harden day. dishes to Beverly. Paul with the steal. <laughs> and it's Barnes slamming it down. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You lose I heard the position you, man. and give man. up a quick two at the other end. That's losing basketball. And especially when you can't afford to give up any buckets. That pushes this lead up instead of going the other way. They need this. And it's Howard finishing it off. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, that I think. Fun. Well, that's how you send it. Two hands and hammer it down. Ball left side. And it's the Clippers scoring again. And you love the way Reddick, Steve, reads the defense coming off those pin downs. He's really rounded out his game, Kevin. He's a capable playmaker, much better defender. Uh, you know, he's a pure shooter, but he's, he's not a one-trick pony. He can hit that floater and get to the rim. Low block shot. No good from Howard. Now, Yo, still I, a great I, start I really think you got a time hook shot. Hitting their first saying, three, very even before that. Got to be a glitch or something. Ball goes in, and he gets it to go. And it's an eight-point Clipper lead. He's got such good hands around the basket, he rarely allows those opportunities to slip away. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, the Clipper 
Irish backcourt of Chris Paul and J.J. Redick, a great combo, but the two were bitter rivals playing in the ACC, 